as a northern youth, when you look at the situation of Nigeria today, what exactly do you tell yourself? Do you tell yourself that yes, we are happy with the things, with the things, uh, with the way things are? Of course, I know you are not happy, and so is everybody. Nobody is happy with the situation in Nigeria. But then again, it's so amazing, it's so baffling that after every four years, your politicians will come back to you and tell you, ah, karmuzabe arne. I Nigeria Munsanche was Himalang. In other words, we should not vote for the infidels or the unbelievers because Nigeria belongs to Islam or Nigeria must be ruled by a Muslim. And I keep asking you one question. With all the leadership that has come to the possession of the North, how much has it benefited the North? How much has it benefited the North? I had the privilege of visiting Katsina sometime about seven or eight years ago. And in Katsina State, eight years ago, I couldn't find a taxi cab. That's in the state capital. I couldn't get a taxi cab. The only means of transportation around the town were motorbikes, otherwise called uh, Babur motorbikes. I remember I was going to, uh, I was looking for, on a Sunday, I was looking for a, a photo, a, a photocopy. Uh, I, wanted to make a, I wanted to make a photocopy on a Sunday and we couldn't get uh, a photocopy shop that is open, obviously, because most of the business centers are owned by Christians and most of them don't, op don't open on Sunday. So we had to take the motorbike and drive around, ride around, ride around until we eventually got to a place and I... I made my photocopy and a few uh, computer works like that. And it brought me back to my hotel. And in my mind, I, then, though the value of money has really depreciated then, but I was, in today's value, I was hoping to say, to be charged like 3,000 or 4,000. And it was like, Kai, Oga, Kasen, Kasen, Muju, Jia, Muju, Jia, Garifa, Kai, Gaskia, Kuninka, Daribi, Arifa. So, you know, that was saying hey, one is five hundred. That's in today's value. Then he was he was charging me three hundred naira when in fact I was prepared to give one thousand five. You see, your politicians in the north have very low value for you. In fact, the only people that insult the politic the, the, the voting public in the north are your politicians. The greatest insult the, the voters in the north get are from their politicians because they have very little value of, for you. The other time, Matiku came and said that most northerners don't visit the internet. They hardly have phones to go on the internet. I didn't say so. Your politicians say so. It's your politicians that ensure that you don't go to school so that they come back later and start giving you, when they start looking for economic sustenance for their youth, they provide them wheelbarrows, shoe shining equipment, and very, very menial jobs that have no future benefit to take care of one person, let alone for a family. It's not me, it's your politician. While they ensure that they sustain your impoverishment, leading you to sustaining your poverty, they are in Abuja drinking the same alcohol they forbid you to, to drink. Sleeping with all the beautiful girls in Abuja, whereas they tell you that you should cover your own in hijab and don't touch them. I was in Abuja sometime in, uh, what's the name of this hotel? Uh, Nikon Luxury. Nikon Luxury, yes. Not me, people, they pay for me. So in the night, I saw one of well, a very popular senator. I wouldn't, I wouldn't name the senator. Very popular senator. The next room close to mine, they were rolling drinks to the room, expensive champagne, and two fine, fine, fine yellow babe. They carry and go to the room. Two, 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 two yellow babe, two yellow shine babe. Even upon say the corridor, they corridor they dark. Their skin, they lighten the whole corridor. Carry and enter. I greet them. Me kuma. As I as as my Ufufu brain know they are just there outside the watch. Next thing I see the man come in shape. Ah, how are you? How are you? I know the guy, very popular guy. Later they come, later they come out, then go to uh, the bar, the VIP bar. Means if I enter, now pay, then they pay for me. Nobody say I get the money in hand. Now something guy they pay for me. I see I'm there, they rub in chair, they rub in shoulder. They, next you enter the small club where they, they for inside that club like this. Then they do the thing, crow crow for inside the club there, live 
inside the, your senator. This same sen this same senator, when election come, he go. go he, this same senator, in four years time, he will go back. He will be the one pretending he is the best Muslim, pretending he he doesn't drink, pretending pretending he doesn't smoke. He, will, he is the one that would sustain their illiteracy, sustain your ignorance, telling you that I ah, don't vote for the. Don't vote for Yamri. Don't vote for them because uh, they are they, they are infidel. They are drunkards. They are this, and then you go and it it it's so it's so amazing that if at this point in time your senses do not come back and realize that at the end of the day you sustain the excesses of your polit politicians by constantly remaining in your foolishness. Nigeria say Malan. Nigeria must be ruled by a Muslim. What has it benefit? benefited you. Casina State still Casina State which has produced about four presidents still remain one of the poorest states. Birling Kebi, you don't need to go there because that's a very very poor state. Yobe, very poor state. Most of the states in apart from Kaduna and Kano, every other state is poor. Every other state is poor. Because the manpower, the population of the youths there are reduced to shoe shiners and uh, 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 water vendors, uh, cola nut hawkers. No, no, no. I was in Bauchi the other day and I was, I was, I, was, I missed a place. I was asking for a direction. If you, 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 do, you how can people be walking in the street and they, they can't even read the symbol? You, there's a giant symbol saying that this is a, a, a Almaco pharmacy or a Jen's supermarket. They won't read it, but if you say, okay, I'm looking for. Alhaji uh, Meshaya uh, Manguru. A society that is populated by illiterates lacks the possibility of development. Now, I'm not saying that uh, the southern states are better than northern states because obviously you cannot compare Delta State and Yobe State, which were created the same day. You can't compare. You can't compare. Del you, it's no, there's no way basis for comparison. Because in Delta states alone, we have about seven metropolises. Asaba, Agbo, Sapele, Wari, uh, Ugele. You just name it. They are all met, they are giant metropolises and, 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 and they are doing well. In all these metropolises, you can actually stop a taxi and move about. So, the, the, the level of development there is uncomparable because the politicians, in order to sustain themselves, ensures that the youths there remain impoverished. And for some reason, the youths are comfortable. They like it. This is the only place in the whole world where you hear a youth saying, Allah yabaka kabani. That's God should give to you in order for me to get. It's a terrible mentality that needs to change. And in order to change that, you must begin to stay away from this idea that the only people that can rule Nigeria must be Muslims or must anybody. For me, I don't care who rules this country pro 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 so long as it gives the dividends of democracy. I don't care if it's a Muslim or a Christian, a Northerner, a Southern Igbo or anything. But the fact that people can actually subject their choice of voting a leadership based on religion and and uh, and and, 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 uh, and tribalism, it, it, it is terrible. At the end of the day. You that vote based on sentiments end up getting the short end of, short end of the stick. Today, things are expensive. Things are very, very expensive. Things have gotten out of hand. Who are the ones crying the most? They are the Emilio Kons and the Allah Yabaka Kabamu. You are the ones that are suffering. You go to the market, it is, it is us that are buying most of the food, food stuff and everything. You go to the, to the bar, the relaxation joint, it is us that are there spending and buying things. So until we get the wisdom, I'm not insulting the North. Please, don't take this video as an insult to the North. But it, it is just a wake-up call to think your politicians are fooling you and deceiving you. And at the end of the day, they are the ones enjoying and you are the ones suffering. Now this small advice I can give you now. I'm going to give you My name is Magnus Soraka. Please. Follow this page and share this post now.